many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got the order. She put the extra stuff in there. Got it. All right, we ready. Hello, everyone. Solid. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinny and Miguel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, in another episode, installation, iteration of my series, We Still Like History Month, we are talking about Lucretia's body oils and sprays. Last year, uh, her items launched We Still Like History Month, so we are spinning the block. She was so creating some kind of sense of extra things, okay? Um, I ordered some of the stuff, and then she threw some extra goodies in there. We are always grateful and appreciative over here. On this side of YouTube, we are always grateful. Amen. <laughs> so, before we get into that, I have to thank my amazing and beautiful, incredible subscribers. Um, When is this video going up? I think this video is going to go up on a Monday. If it's going up on Monday, then I have to say thank everyone for the love and support on my merch. Um, I feel like the first week was very successful in my opinion. My goal was one and I surpassed one. So I am grateful. Um, yes, I still have some more steps ahead of me. Um, getting them made and shipping and all that stuff. It is a huge, huge learning curve for me. But I am very grateful for all the support and encouragement and just love that people have given me. And I'm super excited. I'm nervous, but also excited. And I just have to say I'm grateful for the support on the merch. Just y'all continuously showing love. Whether you could buy or not, I always still felt the support, the love, the encouragement. And I just, I'm just grateful for y'all. So, I just show y'all love because y'all show me love. Okay. Now, she had a sale, right? Lucretia had a sale on some perfume oils. I think all the perfume oils on the site was like $5. And I had missed it initially, but I think she had spent the block and was like, I'm going to extend it. And I caught it on the extended one. I was like, well, how did I miss the first one? Tighten up. So I went there and lost my mind. I don't even remember what I ordered. So well, let's try to get through these oils. Everything is packaged up in um, bubble wrap. So everything arrived here safely. Okay. Oh, okay. This is Bali Mango, which is a Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, I'm not going to show all of them up close. I'll just put the names on the screen. But at least you can see she has her, her label and everything and the name of everything. Everything is really professional, okay? Real professional. So I think I remember Bali Mango as a Bath and Body Works scent. I feel like I remember it. So it's, I like places like this because Bali Mango is obviously discontinued. So if you're a person that's like, oh my gosh, I wanted to come back from Bath and Body Works, the perfume oil might give you what you're looking for. So let's get into it. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. It's fruity, but a little seductive. That's what it's giving me. Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm already telling you what I want to wear this with. Latafa Yara Tooth. I want to wear this with the new Flower Bomb Tiger Lily to amp up the mango. You see where I'm going? Um, what else am I thinking? Honestly, like, even like the coconut scents, like Alien Goddess. This is, it's giving me something. It's, I could almost smell the nostalgia in it too. Like, I remember this scent. Well, oh, I'm going to have fun with this one. I like that. Okay, this is Angel O Crossier. Do I own this? No, but I saw people talking about this, I think. Because I think you had to get it from like Fragrance Center or something. I think this is discontinued. And I think I said I was going to use this to determine if I might want to get my hands on the real perfume. So let's see. What is given? Why does my heat come on as soon as I start filming? Every time. It never fails. It's nice, but you have to smell real close to get it. Real close. Now, like I said, I've never smelled the original. 
It definitely smells like a, a Mugler Angel perfume. It's definitely in that DNA. I'm going to look up the notes of fragrance and see what they say it's supposed to be. Fig Nectar Praline Patchouli Vanilla and Magnolia. So I wanted to add that apparently there is a 2020 version and then another version of that particular scent. And the notes that I read were from the 2020 version of that perfume, which if I had to guess, I think that is the same version as the perfume oil. Hmm. This one is different. This is one of the ones that's making me feel like I'm glad I got the perfume oil first. Because the way I was going to go, I'm blind by that. Mm, we might have to <laughs> I might have to change my tune. This is Jasmine Musk, which I'm assuming is a, a Lucretia original. Okay. Because there is no brand or anything on here. Besides Lucretia's body oils and sprays. Amen. This is literally Jasmine and Musk. Literally Jasmine and Musk. Let me tell you something. Very floral. I'm a floral girl. I love a good floral. Love a good floral. If you don't like florals, uh-uh. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't like musk, I mean, it literally smells like exactly like what it says. Jasmine and musk. And you know what I'm going to wear this with. Gucci. Gucci Flora. The green bottle. I could wear this with, um... Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff I can wear this with. Oh, you know what this is going to go so great with? Is it Fresh Gardenia from Bath and Body Works? Oh! Oh! oh. That's going to be perfect for, for the springtime. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Now, this is LaVie Bell from Lancome. Let me just tell you. I have had LaVie Bell from, I think at this point, three different perfume oil places. I still have some of them. I have not yet smelled one that smells like Livia Bell to me. I don't know. And I've had from very expensive perfume oils to $2.50 perfume oils. I have not yet smelled one to me that smells like the original Livia Bell. So I got this to see if this is closer than the other ones have been. We finna see. That Jasmine and Musk is thumping. Thumping, thumping, thumping. Why y'all ain't telling me to get it from there? I've been struggling this whole time. Like, why can nobody get La Vie Bell right? I, I mean, the ones I've had, they don't even smell anywhere close to it. This is the closest La Vie Bell that I have smelled from all the perfume oil places that I've smelled it from. That's no cap. It is the closest. Oh, Amber and Ooh, that was being adventurous. <laughs> Amber and Ooh, my camera finna die. Hold on. This battery ain't gonna make it either. All right, but Amber and Oud. Okay. I like it and I don't like it. This is interesting, but that with naming with Amber and Oud, there was only. It was a strong possibility that I wouldn't, that I would hate it. I don't hate it. There's something about it I like and there's something about it I don't. It's almost like a cinnamon candy, if that makes sense. I'm excited to play around with this though. My perfume selection category or whatever has grown. So I actually feel like I do have perfumes that I could wear this with. It's definitely not an everyday use. It's definitely a special occasion only. But I feel like when I do bring it out, it's going to be a banger. Okay, y'all. So my camera died and all the backup batteries that I have died. So now I'm on my phone and I'm hoping that I'm in frame and in angle and... <laughs> I'm hoping this works. We just, we gonna go for it. Okay. Uh, This is Tresor La Nui. I believe this is also from Lancome. This has been something that has been on my wish list to get. But I said, let's try the perfume oil first. See what it's hitting on. And then I may spin the block and get the real thing. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that. Hold on. I really, it, sp it smells very feminine, very pretty, but a little sophisticated. I almost would bet there's some like patchouli in there. Um, A little powdery. I kind of like that. Okay. I see why the girls go up for that. Okay. All right. 
another bag wrapped up tied up tangled up oh okay this is mason francis kirk john oud satin mood this is her version of oud satin mood so let's see what it's hitting on okay uh from what i remember i'm feeling like this is spot on i'm feeling like it's spot on now can you smell the oud in there yes is it bad because y'all know i don't really like oud like that for real at all it's not bad this is a good intro into oud is that oud sad mood that's a good a good beginner because it's in, it's more like medium level i'll say medium because it's in there you could definitely smell it but it's not it's not bad at all uh oh i think this one spilled a little bit this is lancome idol it still look full so maybe it didn't there's just something on the side oh girl you're running out of space oh do i have the original idol i don't i think i have lancome idol intense i don't think i have the original Idol, but for if this is that's what it's given, I might have to get that. Yeah, I like that. It's a little soapy, but I don't mind it actually. I don't mind it. That's kind of nice. This is Meliora, which for some reason I want to say perfumes de Marley. If I'm wrong, I will put the well, either way, I go, I'll put where it's from, actually from on the screen. Oh. Oh, is this what the perfume is in now? Oh, I need this. <laughs> oh, I need this. If this is what the perfume is giving, I absolutely need this in my collection. It is like, this also is a little bit soapy, but not in a bad way. A little bit powdery and a little sweet. I don't know. I like it though. Something in here, a little green. This is, I like that. That's going to make me want to run out and get the real thing. Tropical vanilla, okay. Y'all probably sick of me buying vanilla fragrances that I don't like. <laughs> I wish I was going to tell you I'm going to stop, but I'm not. I'm not. Okay. What I'm smelling? Is this this? Hold on. This smells really sweet. I think I might be smelling something else. Hold on, let's try this on. This smells like syrup. This smells like syrup. I thought I was tripping. Okay. Not what I was expecting for a tropical vanilla, but also not bad. This smells like syrup, straight up syrup. Donna Born in Rome. This is another one that's very hard to get right. I've only smelled one other Valentino Donna Born Aroma that I feel like is spot on. And I actually just finished that one up, so we'll, this might replace it. And my, my Donna Born Aroma. <laughs> Y'all see her? She, there's no more left. Okay. So let's see. It smells like Donna. It smells like it has a Donna Born Aroma DNA, but I don't know if I think this is spot on to the original Donna Born Aroma. And only because this is such a beloved fragrance. You know what this smells like to me? If you've smelled Brown Sugar Babes version of the Valentino Donna Born Aroma, it smells like their version of it. So I'm not, well, let me not say it smells like their version of it. It smells similar to that. So if you smell that, then you know what I mean when I say this is clearly the Donna Born Aroma DNA. But I don't think if I've never smelled the original perfume before, could I smell this and say, okay, yes, I love this. I'm going to buy the OG and it's going to smell exactly the same. I can't quite give you that. But does it, is it clearly in the Donna Born Aroma DNA? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. <laughs> And the last one I got is Strawberries and Champagne from Victoria's Secret. For some reason, that is one that I have tried to order from them like three or four times. And every time it's like backed up in the warehouse, I never end up getting it. So I just gave up. <laughs> I gave up. I would have loved to have this from Victoria's Secret as well. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Okay, so those were all the oils that I actually purchased. 
Okay, now she also sent some extra goodies in here. Let me tell you, this is what I meant to tell you. When I first opened this box, I'm telling since just coming up to my nose, I said, whatever is in here, <laughs> baby, thump it. <laughs> I mean, just from opening the box. Oh, she sent me some body polish. I love. She's got some. Oh, I can feel the oil from the outside. Okay, this is Aloha Pineapple. Okay. Aloha Pineapple. And this is in a sugar scrub body polish. Smells like fresh pineapple. Oh my God, I'm going to enjoy this so much. This looks like, I don't know if y'all, oh, I can smell it from here. I ain't even put it up to my nose. I can smell it from here. Lord have mercy. It smells like pineapple fago. Oh, girl. Girl. It smells like pineapple fago. Fizziness and all. Oh, this is so good. I want to drink this. And I don't know if y'all can properly see the texture. It is almost like a body butter. I am going to enjoy this so much. This, oh my God. If you are looking for a fizzy, juicy, intoxicating pineapple, this Aloha Pineapple from Lucretia Body Oils and Sprays. Girl, why would you make this? And more importantly, why would you send me this? Lord. That's probably what was thumping. Oh, when I say I'm going to have a time. I can smell this. I just, oh, I just took this bubble wrap off and I can smell whatever this is. Okay, this is Sour Puss Sugar Scrub Body Polish. I can smell it from outside of the jar. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see this? Girl. And the notes say cucumber, dill, lime, lemon, and melon. Did y'all know lemon and melon is with the same letters? I just had an epiphany. Girl. This is, this is like a a drink from the spa. Like you go to a spa and they give you water and they put some cucumbers and some grass and some other, you know, herbal things in there and a little mint, a little garnish. And it's very refreshing. Oh! And the texture. Are y'all seeing properly the texture of the body polish? This is one of the ones I'm going to tell you right now. You can't start with this. You cannot start your shower with this because when you use this polish, your body is going to feel like you just put on an in-shower oil. So this type of body polish, you finish your shower routine with this because the way you're going to be enveloped in oil, it's going to be a waste if you use this first because all you're going to do is just wash the rest of it off. The last thing is unscented body butter. She must have known that I'm almost finished with the first one she gave me. Do I, where is it? I'm looking at it right now. I might get up to get it to show y'all where I'm. Oh, she got a, you changed the packaging. This ain't what my packaging look, this is no packaging. Okay. So we got unscented body butter. Okay. This is sealed. Huh? Sealed. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to unseal this. Huh? Because I'm not ready to use it yet. So I'm going to get up and get the one that I currently have. So I can show you my usage. Okay. So this is my current. This is the old packaging. And this is the new packaging. We got ourselves an upgrade. <laughs> upgrade. Okay. So. 
What was that? <laughs> what? What was it? Okay. Halfway through the jar. More than halfway through the jar. Well, this is one that as soon as you put it on, I think I probably got this camera up too high. It melts on your skin. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Hold on. I hope that didn't mess nothing up, but let me let me let y'all see. As soon as you put it on, it's melting. Yup. Ooh! Melting. When when they say body butter, that's what she meant. It melts like if you know how when you cut, like say you just made some noodles or some rice or something right and it's still hot okay then you go to the fridge and pull out your stick of butter and cut like a tablespoon a half a tablespoon of butter and you throw it in the pot of whatever you just are making and be, the heat from whatever you're making automatically starts melting the butter that's what this butter do as soon as you apply it to your skin it starts melting melting and unscented means unscented. Unscented means not drowning in the sea of shea butter. <laughs> okay? That's what she means. That's what it means. Unscented, like you can rub an oil in with you if you want and put it all over your body. And it's going to give what needs to be given. Unscented like that. What I really came to tell you, the body polish. If you don't buy nothing else, you don't listen to nothing else these body polishes this aloha pineapple i if you don't live in the midwest and you don't know what pineapple fago is pineapple pop i don't know what to tell you but i can tell you if you like pineapple if you want a fizzy juicy effervescent pineapple scent that is gonna leave your skin dewy and glowy and glistening then what you need to do is go get this Aloha Pineapple. The Sour Puss. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? We're going to find out. I could smell it. As soon as I twist, that melon comes to greet me. The, I wish I could explain to you. The consistency of the of the polish. This is not a regular consistency. This is almost like the base it is a body butter first, and then she built the scrub around it. I'm not saying that's what she did. I'm just saying that it's not your typical consistency. And I love it. I'm here for it. Listen, y'all know I get on the line and I do what? I tell the truth, shame the devil. Then buy, if you don't listen to nothing else, that Aloha Pineapple, I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to tell you no more. So, y'all head over to the Everpay. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm sorry that the, the filming today was everywhere. I had filmed some other content. I thought I had charged the batteries properly, but apparently I didn't. And I said, if I leave and go do something else to come back, I'm never going to finish this video. So, I decided to press through and film on the camp on the phone. So if the ang I know the lighting is off because I'm using <laughs> y'all can see it. I'm using the mirror to look in and see the camera to see my phone what it's recording. So I'm having to look to the side and look at the reflection of my phone in the mirror. <laughs> it's just so thank y'all for bearing with me as I struggle through this video. But I said to say don't be distracted from the Aloha Pineapple. Okay. <laughs> I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.